Yo you guys, what is going on? It's your boy Blazonary Pokemon here. In this episode, I visited a Chinese dollar store. It was in a section of Queens, New York, where primarily a lot of the things around me were Chinese stores. So I walk in and I basically was looking for something for my video on my main channel, Blazonary. But I ended up coming across a couple different products. So we have one tin, two tins, three tins, and four tins. Yes, that is a lot of tins. Let's crack this stuff open and see how we like it. I think first we're gonna start with this Eternus V. I think there's actually some Darkness Ablaze stuff in here and imagine we pull one of the Charizards from this tin right here. Let's check it out. So inside we have the promotional card. Okay be extra careful with this now it's always a huge pain in the ass to get out okay so here's the Eternatus V I don't think I've encountered this Pokemon yet in Sword and Shield but it's actually Sword and Shield 64 so they are they're ahead in these promos I mean whenever this tin came out mine is a uh, pretty decently centered up I'd say gonna go ahead throw this baby in an ultra pro sleeve and what I'd also like to do is probably for this card, just keep it in this because it's just gonna go in my promos binder for now. Here's a little code card for the boys and the girls. So appreciate everybody tuning in, watching and grabbing those code cards. Yes, there is going to be Darkness Ablaze. So I would say this box would not only be a good fun pickup if you're you know getting into Pokemon, but for the investment value, look for look for this box just for the reason of, hey, you get a Darkness Ablaze, another Darkness Ablaze, a Rebel Clash, which isn't terrible, Sun and Moon, which is eh, and Fates Collide, which is terrible. So you really just want it for the promo card and the chances at Charizard for a pretty decent price on a sold out set. And we have now added another 10 to the monstrous amount of tins I have. So let's go ahead and see what we're gonna get. I'm gonna start with uh, random, this one. Oh, Fates Collide. Here we go, guys. Let's see, I honestly don't know much about the Fates Collide set, so hopefully this is Well, that worked out pretty well. So we got an Audino EX. Yeah, I don't know if there was an energy or not it doesn't seem like there is so i want to before i review that again let, let's just talk about these cards the power memory i've never seen that before the Halucha energy pouch kind of looking actually like a louis vuitton accessory a riolu cottony burmy snubble bronzer the dome fossil the kabuto fossil um you know from the games and this audino ex so pretty good condition there's some whiting and some chipping on the bottom a little bit i also like the holographic on the eyes i'm gonna go ahead and sleeve this up and put it in one of my binders i don't think i'm gonna get this card graded or anything like that it doesn't really speak to me all that much although i i do like it seems like a full art i just i can't tell go ahead store that in the back right there hey i was talking trash on fates collide and it turned out to be a pretty good pack so what does that mean? Huh? It means that maybe we're going to get something good in Sun and Moon. I don't think I've opened much of Sun and Moon either. So if there's not an energy, I'm... Oh, it's going to be another good one, which is fantastic. But you know what? Let's just save. Let's just let's just save ourselves right there. We're not going to accidentally risk it. Okay, so we have a Peaky Muku. It looks literally like a turd with spikes. <laughs> a Crocorock, Torkoal, a Yungos. What's up, young boy? Roulette, Cosmog, a Lillipup, Golbat Reverse Holo. See that? That is a proper Reverse Holo, guys. Not the new trash they've been giving us in Sword and Shield. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Hariyama. So it seems like the code card was deceiving, actually. I like the turd card, though. That's, that's definitely a keeper, so. All right, you guys have been hearing me talk about it. We gotta get open the Darkness Ablaze. I mean, dude. Why haven't I pulled Charizard? Well, okay, let me just say, I've maybe opened like three things, to be fair. So I haven't really given myself a chance to pull Charizard, considering a lot of my stuff is unopened still. Ooh. But let's go ahead and see what we can do for this pack right 
here. One, two, three to the front. I think, yes. We have a Doug Trio, Rare Fossil, Simi Sage, Dino, Panseer, Mareep, Snubble, Tauros, Yellhorn, and a Copperasia Holographic. I feel like my luck is just hollows with this pack. All right, we'll give Rebel Clash a go. This one happens to feel particularly heavy. I don't know, I just, it just seems a little heavier than some of the others. I'm very curious to break it down and see if there's uh, gonna be something really spicy in here. There's the code card for all you. One, two, three, and let's begin with Skyla, Electrode, Zatu, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy, Snover. I know Rebel Clash doesn't have like the most fire cards to hunt after, uh, which is why I know it doesn't, it, like people aren't really talking about it as much, but I'm, I'm gonna try and give it some luck right now. Let's see, come on now. Toxicity VMAX, let's go. I love this Pokemon. I chose him during the game to actually use um, I'm trying to bring him to the Elite Four. I, I need to finish the game, yo. I, I just gotta stop procrastinating on that. And additionally, I know I need this card because he does slot right next to the Toxtricity V. So that's really cool to get it back to back like that. Nice card. You know, just, I'm, I, I really do like this card in particular. And since it is in Fanta, oh, it's centered. The centering's off. Mm, maybe not worth the grade then, okay. Yeah, probably not worth the grade. I was going to say, if it's really good centering, I, I might consider getting it graded, but I don't know. Guys, we do have one more pack left. And if we get, like, a good pack, that means I'm going to tell you and all your friends to go buy this tin when you see it in public. Because they're seeding it with some fire. So we got one more pack. Let's go ahead and put the Rebel Clash within the Rebel Clash. I like to sort my cards after the videos, you know, keep it nice and clean. Keep it organized. And uh, let's see what we can get in this darkness of blaze, yo. Imagine we get something fire in here, like just to end it off. Like it's just fire all around from this one tin. Let's see. Here's the code card. Let's go ahead. One, two, three to the front with our energy, psychic type energy. And let's see. We have a familiar bell, the Rose Tower, Steamy, Fletchling, Glaring Mr. Mime, Torchic, Aaron, Rookie D, Trap Hinge with a yarn. I love that yarn artwork, yo. It just, they really, like, somebody made that. Somebody made that, put their time into it, photoshopped it into a little cartoon background, and, and they just did their thing. And a muck. So, I mean, I'd say for pull ratio, you guys can see in front of us what we got from the tin. Is it worth it? You tell me. All right, tin number one is complete. Let's move it on. Tin number two right here. Uh, I don't know what this Pokemon is. Necromza? Not sure even when this tin came out. I just like the Ho-Oh on the side of it. So let's see. They had it priced a little bit cheaper as well. So maybe there's some older packs, which could be a benefit. Maybe there's like an Evolutions or something in here. Okay, here we go. There's the promo card, SM58. There is our code card. So if we can just carefully get this out. No whitening errors. Okay, good. And let's get it sleeved up. I'm curious to see what packs, like I said, are going to come in here. Because this is, I mean, the promo's from 2017. So I, I'm going to guess there's an Evolutions in here. Oh, yes, there is. We have an Evolutions, a Guardians Rising, Burning Shadows, and a Burning Shadows for this tin, guys. So there's our promo card. Let's go ahead and put that in the back. And let's, you know what? Let's start with a uh, Guardians Rising, a set that I'm not too familiar with. Here's our code card. One, two, three. I'm guessing I'm not going to do an energy. Okay. We have a Clefable, a Marini, Field Blower, a Lolan Geodude. That's one scary looking Geodude with hair. I, I don't like that, honestly. It's a little creepy. Uh, we have next a Glossiopod Reverse Hollow and a Salazzle to finish it off. Let's crack open this Burning Shadows for the next one. Here's the code card. One, two, three to the front. Let's begin. I don't think there's gonna be anything good in this one. I just, I don't know, I just have a feeling. I feel like sometimes the tins are either really good or they're really garbage. And this one is, I don't know, it smells like garbage to me. Unless this Evolutions is just God level Evolutions. 
All right, let's crack open the next Burning Shadows. Maybe we can save it with at least one good pull. Here's the code card. Maybe a hollow or something like that. Let's find out. We have a Charmeleon, a Bouflant, Olivia, Duskull. Looks like he's kind of hitting the dab right there. Inkay, Stuffle, Crab Brawler, Morlow, Turtonator, and the end is going to be a Darkrai GX. I love Darkrai. I'm actually getting a Darkrai graded just because I love the card a lot. You know, it just growing up with it. Like, I've told the story a couple times, getting, like, the special, the trip and everything, the field pass and whatever game it was, Diamond and Pearl or Platinum. Wow, I'm actually going to put this right in the top loader just because, I mean, Burning Shadows is, I mean, it's a set that I have. I, I am collecting it in a binder, but it's a lot of my basic cards. So if I can just put this in a card saver, just kind of skip all the, the excess, I'd rather see this in a graded case than not. So here we go. Let's put that right there. And then get a card saver one. So yeah, I'm going to submit this card. Absolutely. It might not even be worth too much money, but I'd rather just say, hey, I have it graded and keep it in the collection. And guys, lastly, we have an Evolutions. So I've been hyping up this one. Just, I mean, Evolutions as a whole has just spiked in price. I mean... It is what it is. The pull ratios, I mean, it was bound to happen, I feel like, just because of the fact that, you know, with with evolutions containing the Charizard, oh gosh, is it, I think it's three no energy. With the chance of pulling the Charizard, like the Charizard was worth as much as the booster box, and so all the other cards basically were, were free. So let's see. I mean, it feels like there's going to be something good. Amana Kuni's Duduo. Yeah, this is a secret rare. It is a secret rare 112 of 108. If you guys did not know that, you can actually pull a couple secret rares just, you know, in the packs themselves. You could get like a, a loaded pack, you know, have all the good stuff, like a break card for the reverse hollow and then like, a, you know, a hollow or something in the end. Let's see if we get that, if we are that lucky. So not really for the reverse hollow luck, but maybe, oh, maybe on the end. Looks like a slow bro. Oh, it's a Blastoise. Let's go. Starter Pokemon. We will always take the starter Pokemon. Not necessarily the card that is most sought after for this set, but I do have a lot of these that I'm getting sent out to get graded. I just think having the, the starters from Evolutions in a graded condition, pack fresh especially if I can, is going to be a good investment down the line. I've, I've maybe got like five of these things or four of these Blastoise at this point. So this tin really worked out as far as profit value goes. I'm definitely liking what we are seeing here. Leave that up. Boom. Blastoise EX. Ready to go. Ready to get graded. So for the most part, it seemed like this tin was a W. Okay, guys. We got another tin right here. The Mars Shadow GX box. This is a very good edition of tin unboxings. Just because we've been getting some pretty rare stuff. Aside from, you know, these little promo cards. This one right here. The Mars Shadow GX. The tins are like a secret investment item. If you're looking to just say, hey, I got 20 bucks, I'm gonna gamble on some packs and see if I get anything good. So far, we've pulled two things that I'm gonna go ahead and get graded. Absolutely love to see when there's gonna be an Evolutions, Guardians Rising, Burning Shadows, and Burning Shadows. Let's go ahead, guys, and begin this next tin opening. Here's your code card, and let's start off all right, Lunatone, Seedra, Charmeleon, Sandy Gas, Venipede, Sneasel, Vulpix, Horsey, Alolan, Rattata, and a Turtonator. We actually got that in a reverse hollow. We have one more tin to get open. I feel like we're going to get something good again. One thing out of here is going to be, you know, worthwhile mention. So, ah, oh, this one's nothing again. Simipor. It's going to be our reverse hollow there. Sorry, I just, I don't want to, you know, waste any time here on the on the doo-doo. Oh my goodness, it does not look like we're getting anything in this one either. I would have to say, I mean, I hate to say it, but if this Evolutions has nothing good, stay away from uh, the GX tin that's got this in it. They're not, they're not giving you anything good unless, for me, what I got wasn't good. Now this does feel, it feels slightly heavier, so I'm going to take the chance here and say we're, we got a winner here. I'm gonna take a chance. Yes, we do. We might have a winner here. One, two, three to the front. Okay, let's see. A Nidorino to start. Professor Oak's Hint, a Charmeleon, Electabuzz, Magikarp, Ghastly, a Sandshrew, Weedle, 
a potion reverse holographic and on the end is gonna be a mega blastoise ex let's go we went off we pulled the blastoise ex now we're gonna pull the mega and you already know we're gonna get it graded evolutions is just becoming too valuable of a set to let it slip by having pack fresh cards i'm not gonna put it in a bind or anything like that it's just gonna go straight into a card saver and it's gonna get loaded up for a PSA submission that I have coming up. So very nice to actually get those two back to back. I mean, pretty lucky, I would say. All right, guys, we have one final tin, the Ho-Oh GX tin. Let's see what packs come in here. If it's gonna be something similar to what we've seen with the Burning Shadows, maybe we'll get an Evolutions. I'm assuming this one's gonna be just as old, maybe 2017. Let's break it down and see what we're gonna get. So I love actually the, the Ho-Oh GX that this set comes with. It is a very nice one, Sun and Moon promo 57. Let's see, can we squeeze it out okay? Gosh, this is a terrible system for putting rare cards. Like dude, what am I, I mean, all right, can the pen just push the plastic a little, push it out from the code card. So there's our code card, but here's our Ho-Ho. Let's, let's check out the centering and everything. Looking okay, some whitening on the corners, but I mean, mm, it seems a little off-centered from top to bottom. Yup, top to bottom, off-center, so it's just gonna go in the binder. Probably not worth getting graded. I mean, I don't know, it is cool though. Maybe if I run into another one of these tins, I'll consider it. I'll put it in a top loader, just cause I love Ho-Oh as one of the uh, original legendaries. Now in this lineup, it looks like we're going to have a similar repeat of the Burning Shadows, Guardians Rising, and Evolutions. So with that being said, let's start off with a Guardians Rising. Here is the code card, one, two, three to the front, and let's break it down. A Conservation Area, a Graveler, Hala, Phantom, Stuffle, Whalmer, Machop. I like that artwork. It looks like they used a lot of drop shadow to make that effect. A Wimpod, Salandit Reverse Hollow, and a Toxapex GX. I'm not familiar with this Pokemon, so I can't say I know uh, what the value is looking like or anything, but if I don't know about it, I'm guessing maybe like a dollar, two dollars. Starting off strong. I like to see it. I like to see it. Let's see what we can get from this Burning Shadows, though. Our luck has been okay with the Burning Shadows, not fantastic. Maybe we can see if we could change that around with this, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Let's go ahead and see guys. We have the Simipor, Solrock, Baton, Hoot Hoot, Lediba, Mudbray, Horsey, Venipede, Heatmore Reverse Hollow, and a Noivern GX. I feel like maybe I have pulled this card before from my few times opening Burning Shadows, just you know, you get it randomly in these kinds of packs like this. Feels like they made a lot of Burning Shadows. Let's go ahead and see what we got next from the Burning Shadows, because we're gonna obviously save Evolutions. Best for last. Here we go on the Burning Shadows. One, two, three to the front. Let's start it off. I, uh, you know, this one felt a little light. Feels a little light. Sure was. How about this Evolutions to end the opening though? Feels pretty heavy, can't lie. If I get a slow bro though, I'm gonna be kinda sad. Cause I have so many slow bros. Okay, oh no. No, it doesn't look like we'll be getting anything worth. Oh, Surfing Pikachu, that's a secret rare. I'll take him. Okay, but anything else? No, no, nothing but our secret rare. Guys, thank you for so much for watching this tin opening four tins in this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you guys with some more openings and content very soon. I'm trying to work out an upload schedule. I'm figuring it out, but you guys see the videos. It's at least four times a week. So thank you for watching. It's your boy Blaze and signing out. Stay positive. Be sure to watch another video right now. Just do it. You got time. Come on.